Hi, my name is Anna Smith, and today we will be looking at Edpuzzle. In this tutorial, you will explore how to use the various features of Edpuzzle to st support student learning in and outside the classroom. Edpuzzle allows you to deliver content to your students while being virtual, hybrid, or even in stations in full-time learning. Edpuzzle also allows you to assess students. Let's take a look at Edpuzzle. You need to go to edpuzzle.com. And when you get to edpuzzle.com, you will log in using your Gmail and it will pull up a page that looks like this. I have some videos that I have already put in my content, but for you to get started, if you wanted to add a video of your own, you would hit the add content button. Okay? And you can either create a video, upload a video, student project, or new folder. Today, I'm going to show you, show you how to start with uploading a video. So you would click upload video. You can upload it from Drive or from your computer. It takes a couple minutes for the video to download. So I have already downloaded a video of my own in my content. So when it opens up, I'm going to click edit. Okay. And while you are in the edit mode, you can cut your video. Like, you can voice Miss Smith. Uh, we miss you at school. You can voice over a video and add a recording to the video if it's another um, video of you recording something, but you wanted to add some more speech to it. You could do it that way. And the big part is the questions. The questions create stopping points in your video that will allow the students to answer questions instead of them just flying through the video. It holds them accountable and you can see the questions that they answer with. So if you pick a part of the video that you want the question to be put at, then you can hit multiple choice and create your question. You can choose open-ended or you can have a stopping point that is a note. If the students are following along with you and writing down information, you could add a note that stops the video and says, add this information to your notes. So when you click finish, it will be created here. The next step is to assign the video to your students. The best way that I have been able to do this is to click the button assign. You will need to add your Google Classroom that you would like, and you can assign it. Uh, I typically share the link and I'm going to show you how to get the link, but if you would prefer to share it straight to your Google Classroom, you can do it that way. But I turn that off and I hit assign. And it will pull up your class list. And over here, if you scroll down, it gives you options over here to delete the assignment um, in Google Classroom or you can share the assignment. And that is where you will get your link that you can post the link in a checklist or a choice board, or even just in your Google Classroom. The great thing about Edpuzzle is if you go back to content, over here you will see that there is Horry County Schools, and you will be able to view all different teachers and content from um, teachers in Horry County. At the same time, you could search up here and make it specific to subjects or grade levels. And over here, you can assign it to your students, even if it is someone else's ed puzzle. So I'm going to click on this one. Over here, it allows me to see the questions that this teacher has created for this video. And down here where the drops are, that are those are the stopping points. And it gives you the questions. It has a 50 high... okay. And if you want to add it to your content, then you can just hit copy. Okay. And now it will be in your content over here. My content. And here is the video. 
And then you can go through the same process of assigning it to your students. Thank you for joining me today in this presentation. If you have any questions about Edpuzzle, feel free to reach out to one of our um, digital integration specialists. And thank you so much for joining me today.